what can you tell me about WrestleMania with Brett and Vince? That had to be huge. That was insane. That was so <laughs> insane. Yeah. I got I got called to Gorilla because because we're on the West Coast, we're in Phoenix, and um, so everything starts real early locally. And so we had to be there. I remember the bus to the stadium was really early. Anyway, I think I'm there. It's like 10 o'clock or 11 a.m. And I was doing something, and I, I get called by myself, specifically to Gorilla. And then it's it's me and Vince, and we have a one-on-one -on -one talk where he kind of lays out. Uh, we, we had a meeting the night before where they kind of laid this out, but then this day he lays out um, kind of like what what my job specifically is. Uh, and I said, okay. And then he said, okay. And he, and he Vince told me, he said, I want you to have a WrestleMania moment. And I was, uh, I mean, you hear that from, from Vince McMahon. I mean, what, I had like a million thoughts going through my mind. And he's like, what if he's like, he said, can you guys, can you do your finish to me off the top rope to the floor? And I, and I, I said, I mean, <laughs> whatever he asked me, whatever he asked me, I was going to do yes. or try to. Yes. And I, I said, yes, yes, sir. Absolutely. And he's like, have you done it before? And I'm thinking like, <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Vince, if you haven't seen me do it, I promise you, I haven't done it on a live event somewhere. Right. I promise you. <laughs> and I was like, I said, yeah, I can do it. He's like, all right. And I'm thinking it was very funny. It was so funny. He's like, in my head, I'm thinking the thing that's going to uh, break my fall is I'm going to have to hit Vince pretty hard. I'm like, I'm going to have to hook him pretty hard on the way down. And as I'm thinking that, <laughs> he said to me, he said, he, he, how, what is, how exactly did he's like, he's like, yeah, I mean, make sure you really, you really hit me with it. And I was thinking, well, you don't even know. I, I, I've, already, I've, already, I've, already, I've already gone there. It's coming. It's coming. It, his head bounced pretty good that day. Yeah. But I had to to break my fall, but he, he wanted it that way. So, I mean, that was, that was incredible to have. I know obviously it might not have played out the way fans had hoped or, were, you know, or had envisioned or whatever, but you're talking about two guys that, you know, Brett, you know, he's a, a, a stroke survivor and now I also a cancer survivor, but at that time he's a stroke survivor and had a miraculous comeback. I mean, if you're expecting a five-star match, it's just, it's not going to happen. But in terms of the story of like this guy that got screwed and these things happen, the story all makes sense. It, it's just, you know, my, I get it. Maybe people, but for me, it was, it was amazing. I, I loved every second of it. I loved being a part of it. I loved, um, I didn't know. I didn't know that, like, I didn't know it was going to spin off to the next day. Like, I have no clue at that point that the next day we're going to wrestle Miz and Big Show on Raw and Brett's all of a sudden, like, out there with us every week. I had no clue that that was, like, in the, the, in the cards. So, I mean, WrestleMania is, like, here, and then it just kept, like, riding for us. I, I, was, I was on cloud nine. I didn't expect any of that. You guys went to tag balls the next night, or was it like a month from then? Uh, it's like a month later. I so I think initially we were supposed to have. I believe we were supposed to have. Uh, it's funny because Brett kind of knew the plans. I never knew any of the plans. We I believe we were supposed to have like a tornado tag match at Extreme Rules, but uh, that's when the volcano stuff happens and the, all the raw guys get stuck over in Europe. So that, so that final raw that before the pay-per-view that was supposed to like set the match. We don't do because Miz and Big Show are stuck in Ireland. Uh, so then on, so extreme rules turns into like a tag gauntlet and we just come in on the end and we, we, we win that tag gauntlet on the very end. And then uh, that sets up the title match the next day against Miz and Big Show. And I, that was in Richmond, Virginia, the, the title match. And I, I have a I have a lot of fond memories of of that match and that that crowd and just that day. It was fun, man. And like my very first match ever is teaming with Harry. And then not to the day, but 15 years later, we become WWE tag team champions together with Natty and with Brett. 
I mean, it seems like some, it, like if you saw that in a, on a TV, if you saw that on a TV series or on a, in a movie, you'd think it was like too far fetched. But it's like, it's, I don't know. It's, again, it's this weird fate stuff. Gotta be. It. It's like, it was, like I was thinking, it, it's like someone wrote that. Like you couldn't write that any better. That's amazing. Yeah, man. Why did they break you and Harry up? Um, so I don't know if that was in the cards, but I knew that, I remember when I found out Harry and I were losing the tag titles at, um, at a champions, I remember thinking, okay, now are we just going to be a team that kind of like just kind of floats a little bit? And, and I was like, I don't really want to be that after we just did a lot of really good work, especially, uh, I mean, on live events all around the country with the Usos, uh, like matches I was very proud of all over the place. And I just remember thinking like, I don't want to, I don't want us just to like, kind of be, if, and I don't know if this were the plans, but I didn't want, I didn't want to even tempt it where we're just kind of like cannon fodder as, I'd rather like, I don't mind doing that at, for my like myself as a singles i don't mind i'll put a, i'll lose to anybody I'm, I'm fine with that but i didn't want to do it as this tag team after we'd accomplished this so i remember texting harry and i said hey man uh, i'm pretty sure we're losing the titles on sunday i said not a big deal because the second you win like in wrestling the second you win a title you have to know that like one day you gotta lose it and that could be the very next day it could be that same day as long as you're okay with that then you're not the ego won't get in the way and it's very easy for the ego to get in the way. I understand how it happens. I'm not making fun of, I'm not taking slight at anybody. But so anyway, I just remember I texted her and said, hey, we're going to lose the tag titles. This is not a, that's not the big deal. I said, but I don't want us just to be a team that is becomes cannon fodder. I said, no one's told me that that's the plan. But I said, I think, and I, I knew what kind of chemistry we had as opponents. And I said, let's let's show the world some of our chemistry as a, our, our chemistry as opponents too. And I said, what would you prefer to be ba like a good guy or a bad guy, he or baby face? And then he said that he would prefer to be a uh, baby face. I said, that's perfect for me. Um, at that pay-per-view, I knew I want, it was in Chicago. I wanted to meet with Vince. And um, I happened to be walking up these stairs as Vince is walking down. And uh, he was like, I think he called me Tyson. He's like, Tyson. And I was like, damn, what a night. I said, I said, hey, sir, it's great to see you. I said, actually, I wanted to come by and run an idea by you if you have a chance, if you have a minute. And he said, and I knew pay-per-view days were pretty good because the show's pretty much set. And he said, yeah, come by, come by in a little bit. And I did, and I pitched him. I pitched, I pitched, I pitched real high. I pitched like that. I knew Calgary was coming up, and I pitched something where, like, I – kick Brett in the stomach and put him in a figure four on the post and like screw Harry out of him. I, I pitch, I, I am for the stars, but, <laughs> but, but, but Vince listened to me and um, he did go as far as like, I, I said, I kind of wanted it a little, like I said, the way I see it in my head is almost a little bit like Brett Nolan where it looks like Harry and I are maybe like, you don't know who's going to turn on who it looks like maybe we patch things up and then it happens. And that's, obviously not on the same level, but that was what Vince allowed. So I literally didn't know when, like, I didn't know when this turn was going to happen. I didn't pitch for this specific, besides it being Calgary. Once we did Calgary and it didn't happen, I didn't know when the hell was going to happen. So, um, so I guess so it was my idea. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if like, I don't know if there were any plans or if we had a chance at like interjecting ourselves into plans by good performance good performances or not. And I didn't want to take that chance. So I thought I, I'd rather, I would honestly rather like struggle as a singles than, than kind of take away what we did as a, as a tag team. That's what, how I felt. 